I am the darkness. No, I'm sorry. Okay, you're gonna punch me again over and over till your arm weakens. Clearly you want to, so tell me. Why did you allow me to live? I was aware of Star Trek and, and much more engrossed in it than I realized subconsciously it had a massive effect on me as the origin story of JJ's first film in 2009 made me really sentimental about seeing these characters come together for the first time. So I'd obviously invested something emotionally as well as, you know, time-wise with these characters, this franchise, and the amazing canon that, that I'm now very privileged to be part of. On the way to the premiere, we were driving past bus stops with my mug all over it as the character in the film, and, you know, I've, I've got the grin on now. I can't, I can't, you can't help but be excited about that. So that was, that was a real thrill. Um, but, you know, it, it's a... Uh, Oh, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be recognised for, for what you do, so um, I'm, I'm very flattered by any attention it brings. You'll see me later on this year in two films, always the Sage County and 12 Years a Slave, where my hair's pretty much my own colour, and it was a joy. But, you know, when you play a detective, um, a, a character as iconic as we've made him in his modern uh, reinterpretive, uh, uh, the reinterpretation of him that we've got, uh, you, yeah, we, we've got something quite iconic. Uh, Curly is my nickname in Chinese, apparently. Curly Holmes. <laughs> Or curly batch. When we first met, you told me the disguise is always a self-portrait. How true of you. The combination to your safe, your measurements. But this, this is far more intimate. This is your heart. I did do some research for Smaug, the dragon in the Hobbit. Um, I went to the zoo and I looked at reptiles, iguanas and lizards and Komodo dragons and just tried to sort of see what being a reptile was. And uh, that, that was pretty dispiriting in the sense that I'm a biped mammal. Or uh, Johnny Lee Miller's Sherlock Holmes, or Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes, or Jeremy Brett's Sherlock Holmes. Um, I think combined, we would, you know, not, everything would be fine. The world would be put to rights, and we could all sleep safely in our beds.